name is Helen Lloyd, I'm a senior lecturer and course leader on the Operating Department Practice Programme. So the course structure for the ODP programme is 50-50 practice and placement. As a student you spend 50% of your time here on the university campus with us. This is a mixture of taught sessions and clinical simulation time with us in the labs. The rest of that time is spent out in practice placement. So when you're on placement, you're out in one of a number of hospital departments across the region in the North East. Your placement time is spent in an operating theatre and first year it's learning about all about the basic safety principles of working in an operating theatre. Year one modules consist of anatomy and physiology, practical skills, legal and ethical aspects of the profession and the standards of the Health and Care Professions Council. Moving into second year, it's about developing your skills more. So working more in major and complex surgery, moving you into newer specialities, looking at more advanced aspects of the role in the university environment. So this might be studying pharmacology, clinical decision making and getting some introduction to research methods. In the third year, at this point, we assume that you've developed all the really good core skills of being an ODP, but now it's about developing your leadership skills and looking at where your career is going to grow when you've qualified as an ODP. So this is aspects of leadership and management. We also do introductions to mentoring and coaching, and there's the opportunity to develop your research skills further. This might be doing quite a long assignment, looking into an area of interest. It might be writing a journal article for publication, or it might be doing a presentation to the colleagues of the team in the ODP programme. So an operating department practitioner, or ODP as we're called, is somebody who works in predominantly in the operating theatres or can work in accident and emergency or critical care areas. The three main areas that we work in are anaesthetics, scrub and recovery. As an anaesthetics ODP, you assist the anaesthetist with anaesthetising patients for surgery. This might be doing things such as a general anaesthetic, it might be doing spinal or what we call regional blockades in preparation for the surgery itself. During the actual operation, scrub operating department practitioners will scrub up and assist the surgeon and the surgical team with carrying out intensive surgery. This can range from minor procedures such as a carpal tunnel which is a relatively basic procedure done under local anaesthetic to something more complex. We've been very proud to see some of our students take part in quite extensive procedures over the years and as the years of the programme go on here at the university students are encouraged to take on more aspects of this in terms of their placement skills and development. The other aspect of the ODP role is recovery. This is when patients are at their most vulnerable because they've had surgery, sometimes they might not have full capability of maintaining their own airway and they're probably in quite a lot of pain after having some surgery too, so it's up to us the ODPs to look after them. So this might be pain management, it might be reassurance and we also as ODPs look after patients from every age group. So this is from children, paediatrics, neonates, but also this might include adults, the elderly and also those with learning disabilities and with mental health backgrounds. We don't discriminate in theatres, we do look after everybody. So the programme itself has actually just been re-approved and we've re-approved the course and developed it to meet the needs of trusts in the area and also what our students feed back to us because this is really important. And one of the modules we're quite excited to introduce in the coming programme is leadership skills but also preparation for mentoring. Off the back of the pandemic, it's absolutely vital to make sure that we have a really good substantial workforce in the theatre environment and also to ensure that our students, once they qualify, can pass on those skills to the future generations coming through. So by having those skills in supervision and mentoring, our students who have all of that knowledge and information fresh in their heads can pass it on to you, the next student who are coming through on the course. So as a student on the course, you can be placed in any one of a hospital trust across the North East region. We stretch as far as Northumberland and we go as far south at the moment as Harrogate District Hospitals. When you're placed with a hospital, you're with that specific trust for the whole three years of your programme. But if there are two hospitals as part of that trust, for example, you could be placed with James Cook Hospital, but you would be expected to go to the Fry Ridge at some point as well. When you rotate around those hospitals and their theatre departments, you are expected to work across all the specialities that they provide. Typical specialities that you'll work in are things like orthopaedic surgery, so that's bone and joints, 
it might be ophthalmics as well, which is eye surgery. It could be something as well like specialist surgery, such as cardiothoracic, so that's open heart surgery. So here in the School of Health building, we have a designated operating theatre suite, which we're very proud to have. It's all brand new. And we have two fully stationed areas, so we actually can simulate a working theatre environment. We have everything from anaesthetic machines to what we call diathermy machines for cautery on patients. We have purpose built mannequins so we can do surgical simulations and we also have all the surgical equipment that you would expect to see in practice. We've got really good working links with our local trusts as well and some of our alumni staff love to come and teach you the students when you come into the course itself because our students like to see where our previous students have gone in their careers and a lot of them are now working in advanced roles so they come in and they teach specialist subject areas such as orthopaedic surgery, we bring companies in to teach about various kit as well and we also teach specialist areas such as regional anaesthetics and anaesthetics with anaesthetists and surgeons too. So we have six members in the ODP team at the moment. I'm the course leader for the apprenticeship route on the ODP programme. My background is I'm a registered ODP. I actually did my training here at the university when it was still a diploma and I've worked in pretty much all of the hospitals around the region. My previous job before I came here to the university was I worked in cardiothoracic surgery on the scrub side uh, at James Cook Hospital. My colleague Abby, her background is anaesthetics and she came from Sunderland Royal Hospital and myself and Abby have both been here for four years now at the university. We've also just had two new members of the team who have started recently, so we have Dale who's come from Edge Hill University and his background is burns and plastics anaesthetics. And we've also just had Tony join us recently in the past couple of weeks. Her background is bowel cancer and colorectal scrub. And last but not least, we have two honorary ODPs on the programme who are actually background as nurses, and they are Robert and John. John was previously the course leader for the ODP programme that is now headed up by Abby. And both John and Rob used to teach all of us who were on the course. So myself, Tony and Abby were all previous students on this course. Whilst we say that they're honorary ODPs, when you're in the theatre environment you will come across nurses as well because nurses do work in theatre too and we all work together as one big multidisciplinary team. So that is your core ODP team here to teach you but like I say we do have a number of external practitioners coming in consistently who will bring in current things that are going on in practice and they are all previous students who've qualified from the course. So the majority of our team are all registered ODPs and we all have a wide range of background in terms of clinical skills and experience. This has ranged from anaesthetics to burns and plastics anaesthetics to scrub in either cardiothoracic or colorectal and also with some significant backgrounds in intensive care and cardiothoracic intensive care too. Also on the course we have a number of alumni staff who are previous students on the course. They come and teach with us regularly in the simulation suite. They've all been on this course before, so they're very in tune with what you, the students, are going through. And they also demonstrate really well exactly where you can go in your careers once you've graduated from the course. If you'd like to find out more, we'd love to see you at a university open day. As an applicant, if you'd like to find out more, please get in touch.